But first, a deadly single car crash that killed four fathers in Granite Bay just days before Christmas is now the focus of a wrongful death lawsuit. It alleges in part the driver had been overserved alcohol at a local restaurant before the crash. CBS 13 Steve Large is live getting answers on who could be held liable in a tragic case like this. Steve. Well, I'm standing at the location where this deadly crash happened, and as you can see, the memorial is still here two months later. Now, the widow of one of the victims is filing this lawsuit saying severe intoxication is to blame. The white Mercedes Benz crashed into a tree and burst into flames, killing passengers Paul Hammock, Karan Panu, and Patrick Gaynor, and driver Jerry Seppel. The four men were friends, their loss days before Christmas taking a toll on this Granite Bay community. The CHP investigation found speed was a factor. The agency still has not released drug and alcohol toxicology reports. Now, this lawsuit filed by the widow of Passenger Panu alleges just before the crash, all the men were at the restaurant The House of Oliver. The lawsuit reads, on 12-14-2022, the House of Oliver was hosting Whiskey Wednesdays. During Whiskey Wednesdays, the risk of severe intoxication is high. The House of Oliver knows the risk of severe intoxication is high because they offer memberships to participate in Whiskey Wednesdays. The lawsuit goes on to allege the driver, Jerry Seppel, was overserved alcohol, although he was severely intoxicated and obviously drunk. It's suing for damages from Seppel's estate and the House of Oliver. Only the, pers the person who drinks the alcohol is responsible in the state of California, uh, with the only exception being if the person being served is a minor. Attorney Jeffrey Kravitz is an expert on alcohol licensing laws in California and defends restaurants in cases like this one. He says the House of Oliver cannot be sued for damages, although the state could take action on its liquor license if it finds any wrongdoing. The restaurant's liquor license is currently in good standing, and the owner did not respond to my request for a comment. To prove obvious intoxication and the serving of alcohol after the person is obviously intoxicated is very difficult, okay? It's one of the harder things to prove in, 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 for, the, for the ABC. And today we did reach out to the CHP to get an update on their toxicology report. They say it could be finalized within the week. Yeah, that was a tragic crash. Steve, thank you. Live in Granite Bay tonight.